Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's another balmy 73 degrees here in Bowling Green, Virginia, as per the bank. So, um, yeah, it's a nice day to ride. And I'm squinting it again because it's going to be hot on the way home. So, not much of a, not much is going on around here. You know, work, work, work. Wait for the weekend. Think you're going to have plans? Your plans get shattered because you got chores to do, or there's a thunderstorm rolling through, or some other such stuff that causes us pain and agony on the weekends. I'm still keeping up with the running. I uh, just want everybody to know that my schedule is uh, right now is kind of uh, uh, taking it easy, like the get into it phase. So, and this is just me. I haven't read this anywhere. I haven't done any research on how fast I should be going. I'm not doing a couch to 5K plan or anything like that. I, I basically just mapped out a three mile loop in my neighborhood or in a town here and uh, decided that's what I wanted to run. And my goal from the get go was just to be able to run the three miles without walking. And, and that's it. And, my, and I'm getting closer to that. I mean, I'm not like a half a mile away from it, but I'm getting a lot closer, which it makes me happy. And I feel good. So uh, on Monday, I run the three miles. I take off Tuesday. Wednesday, I run the three mile loop. Now keep in mind, when I say run, I'm not running the entire three miles. I'm running until I'm about to die, and then I'll walk, and then I'll run, and then I'll walk. So just, just, when I say run, use that relatively. So, and then on Saturday, so I take Thursday and Friday off, and on Saturday, what I'll do is I'll just do a, a two-mile run, uh, just just to, to keep the running up. I don't I don't know why I ran two miles that day, but I felt like that's just what I'll need to do. And I guess I I should try to use that Saturday to to pick up the pace a little bit to try to. Because I'm only going two miles, I should push myself a little harder. Because eventually it'll get easier, and I'll be able to run the, the three miles. But anyway, I, I got off subject really bad. So I was going to say that when I was on active duty, there were times when um, you're running and you might only go out for a three mile run and uh, you get that, you get a, a pace going and it doesn't, it's not fast, but it's, it's a consistent pace and you get in a groove and it doesn't, it just feels like you could run at that pace forever. You're not, it's not taxing you anymore. You're just maintaining and it's just, it's just fun. I mean, you know, you run five, six, seven miles like that. And, I mean, you're beat when you get finished, but it's, it's not like you were struggling to keep it up. And I'd like to get back to that for, you know, three to five miles, maybe. I don't know. I, I'm not really concerned with how far I can run. Uh, at this point, I'm just wanting to be able to run three miles without walking. That's my goal. And I'll reach it. I'll reach that goal. And I'm pretty motivated. I'm staying with it. The only thing that hasn't pre uh, prevented me yet is the weather. So, but I know that day will come. If the weather prevents me, I'll just pick it up the next day, but I'm not going to give it up. It's just too easy to stay, stay in bed. And then winter has, when winter gets here, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it either. I might have to start running in the evening. But I really would like to keep this up. It's just healthy and it's good for you. Here's another interesting topic, and I'm sure I should do some more research. So I was, uh, because I'm old, I start having knee pains. Just because I'm old, your bones, and I'm sure anybody who doesn't run, I don't care how old you are, you're going to have joint pain. But, so I started researching uh, some uh, uh, glucosamine, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid tablets. Because we've always heard, you know, I heard recently that that stuff is, helps your joints feel better, right? So I found a, br a brand, I don't remember the brand it was, but uh, it was only the runner magazines. They had like top 10 glucosamine, uh, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid supplements. And I found a, a bottle of this thing and the price was, was right. It wasn't overly priced. It wasn't, didn't advertise that it was the better than the others. It had all the things I needed or I thought I wanted. And uh, so while, while doing searches for, you know, glucosamine for running, knee pain, uh, it, you, I start seeing uh, it links to 
not necessarily like a, a running magazine or something, but start seeing links to uh, medical researches. And, and I'll try to do some more research today, and if I do, I'll put links to the studies in the uh, description below. But a handful of the links I read more or less made claims that, well, number one, the one thing they said, the best way to ease joint pain, this is no lie, is to lose weight. <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. It's so funny, and it's so simple, and it's the truth. I mean, you know, we're, we're all, are, we're, all of us have the same size skeleton. Our bones are not bigger. So if you think you're big bone, think again. Now, so anyway, back to that. So they said the best way to do, to, to alleviate joint pain is to lose weight. Now, of course, this is not counting people with arthritis and other, other bone diseases or things like that. Or, the, you know, joint uh, cartilage dis disappearing, whatever. So this is strictly the, the uh, people who don't have any kind of diseases or illnesses that would cause them to, to need this medicine. This is strictly for people with joint pain for exertion or whatever. So, uh, these studies more or less claim that um, a lot of the stuff, I can't remember, the, I'll, I'll put the links in the description or maybe some statistics, but basically what they were saying is that the, uh, taking uh, glucosamine, hyaluronic acid, chondroitin, had a placebo effect on most of the subjects tested. That is to say, the medicine, the, the med, I can't call it medicines, the supplements absolutely do nothing. Which is funny because I know people who swear that when they take this stuff, it's, uh, it's helping. Now I do recall, I did have a bottle uh, of this stuff and I did have to have taken it before. I didn't like it because you had to take three of these capsules twice a day and I'm like come on man that's that's ridiculous it starts getting expensive so now that I've read these case studies about how glucosamine and the other two hyaluronic acid and chondroitin had a placebo effect on a majority of the subjects and there was no scientific evidence that it actually helps people like me now it now I look it back and I'm like yeah I don't remember ever easing the pain up I think I took it and continue taking it because I felt like, well, it's not getting any worse, so this must be helping, right? Well, now that I've read these articles um, um, stating that this stuff that had a placebo effect on a majority of the subjects, now in my mind, even if I start taking it, I'm not going to believe it's working. So I didn't order any, and I'm just going to suffer through it. And, I'll, and, I'll, and they say your body will naturally protect itself. As long as you don't have a disease or you know some kind of bone density problem but I thought that was very interesting you know and, and I started thinking about the market just go online just go to Amazon and type in a search for chondroitin or glucosamine or hyaluronic acid and the number of products that pop up is, is astounding the, the money that the industry is making on uh, what's the word athletic supplements I could not imagine how the billionaires that are behind these products and you know I'd, I'd have to look at bottles of them to find out what the scientific evidence they have proving that their product actually works that, that'd be interesting but anyway some of the websites I saw were WebMD or I'll try to find really legitimate uh, medical research places and, uh, and put the links to the description of what they had to say about these uh, glucosamine, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid supplements. It was really interesting to me. But anyway, if you take them, I hope I didn't burst your bubble. I hope I didn't put a bug in the back of your mind to where your knees are going to start hurting now because you feel like it's having a placebo effect on you too. So keep on taking those neurological pills, guys. I don't think they're working, and I'm not taking them anymore. Peace out. Have a good day. Hope everybody has a safe weekend coming up. Uh, I might have a uh, video coming up this weekend. I'm going to get my kayak out, get it ready for fishing, and I'll go over all that uh, and uh, show you my setup, uh, show you uh, my tackle, and uh, hopefully I'll get that done this weekend. All right, later on, I'm out of here.